All right, guys. So listen. Um, this is my book of goals. I write down. I write down my fucking goals every single fucking day in here. And I told my boy Javier, you know what, bro? I want you to be successful this year. I want you to fucking kill it this year. I don't want you to make ten billion dollars or one million or whatever. But I want you to, you know, sort of like advance a lot. Uh, whether you know from your current state of where you're at okay so I told them I want you to start writing down your goals okay your all-time goals and your yearly goals and then he sent me a picture of this thing this paper that I'm gonna roast in a couple of minutes and I tell them Javier I want you to come to my house and I'm gonna give you a goal-setting seminar all right now unlike other successful people that talk about goal setting and have actually accomplished a lot of things I haven't accomplished anything but I don't give a fuck all right, I'm gonna help out a friend indeed, and I'm gonna tell him everything I know about goal setting and everything that I have also learned from multiple people. So Javier, actually, let me tell you something. You remember the other day when I told you, give me a number from two to uh, 12, and a number from one to 31? Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the things that you're going to do to stay motivated towards your goals. I actually learned this from this guy called Ed Milet, at Ed Milet on Instagram. Ed Anyways. Milet. Yeah, yeah. So basically, give me a number from uh, 2 to uh, 12. 4. Okay, so 4 and then let's say 20, right? So you're going to go into your phone, you're going to go into your calendar, and on 420, you're going to write down one of your goals, or you're, or you're going to write down like a specific reminder, okay? Just like anything motivational, like that, when 420 comes along, you get this reminder on over, and you look at your phone, and then you're like, holy shit, like look at this motivational message that I wrote, I completely forgot about it, but now it's here. Okay, and basically, the reason why I really like that, and again, I learned that from Ed Milet. Go listen to the Ed Milet Show podcast on iTunes. Okay, that's where I learned it from. Um, I really, really like that idea because you know how sometimes like you're just going through everyday life. Okay, sometimes you just lose motivation, right? And out of nowhere, you never know. That freaking motivational quote that you wrote at the beginning of the year when you were motivated just comes out of nowhere and just sort of like uh, rekindles the fire within you. Okay, so that's one tip. Okay, when it comes down to goal setting that I learned from Ed Milet. Okay. Let's take a look at, at the serious stuff. Okay, so I told you to write two types of goals, ATGs and YGs. So for those of you guys that are watching this video, ATGs are all-time goals. So these are goals that are basically, like you basically want to accomplish them as your life goes on, okay? And these goals must be ginormous, tremendous, extraordinary, all right? All of these goals need to be big as fuck, okay? And uh, some of you guys might not even be able to come up with any ATGs, and I'm gonna give you, and I'm gonna tell you why you can't come up with any all-time goals, okay? But yeah, ATGs, all-time goals, goals that you're going to accomplish throughout your life. And you want to put a timestamp on some of these goals, but on some of these other goals, you don't really want to put a timestamp, okay? Because, you know, sometimes it's true, most people underestimate what they can do in a, in a long amount of time, and they overestimate what they can do in a short amount of time. For some of these goals, you want timestamp, for some of them, you don't, and obviously, that's up to you to decide, you know what I mean? Like, if you wanna make a million in five years, a million bucks in five years, you can set up that goal, okay? Me, personally, for the most part, most of my ATGs don't have a specific timestamp. Maybe that's a mistake that I'm doing, maybe that's something that you guys can implement to your goals. Like I said, every single thing that I'm sharing with my boy Javier, when it comes down to goal setting in this video, I'm saying it to him because, you know, this is basically all the knowledge I have ever obtained on goal setting, as well as, you know, knowledge that I have learned from setting my own goals, all that shit. Okay, so, uh, ATGs, all-time goals, I already told you that, right? Yeah, remember, I'm just speaking freely, I don't have anything scripted, okay? And then you're going to have YGs. These are going to be your yearly goals. These are going to be goals that by the end of the year, you're going to accomplish, okay? Now, let me tell you something. You have to set your yearly goals specifically, you have to set goals that you know you are capable of achieving. All right? Look at look look me in the fucking eyes, Javier, when I'm telling you this. All right? I want you to fucking know this. Your YGs are goals that you know you're going to be able to accomplish them or you highly think that you're going to be able to accomplish them because of the amount of work that you're going to put in. And that is another important thing that I want to tell all of you guys watching this video on my boy Javier. When it comes down to setting goals, Every single goal that you set, you should know that you're going to accomplish it. If you don't think you're going to accomplish that specific goal, then that's not a fucking goal that you should set. All right? Only put the goals that you know you're going to stay motivated towards. Only put the goals that you know you're going to work hard towards. All right? Only put the goals that you tell yourself, I'm going to work my fucking ass off until I accomplish this shit. All right? So let's take a look at some of the all-time goals, Javier, you know, some suggestions that you should have. Like, for example, maybe you want to be healthy. I stole this goal from Grant Cardone from the 10X Rule. Everyone go fucking read that book. It's amazing. I actually started writing down my goals because of the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. 
I am in perfect health and physical condition. All I have here, that's, that's one of my all-time goals. I'm free to travel around the world. Everybody likes to fucking travel. That should be one of your all-time goals out here. I don't see this shit on this shit, all right? <laughs> I don't see this goal. I'm free to travel around the world in this. You want to be a DJ out here. You want to be a fucking producer. You want to be fucking everywhere, all right? So why is this goal, I'm free to travel around the world. I tour around the world. Why is that fucking goal not over here? I'm going to tell you why soon. Another one of your all-time goals, I collab with the most influential people in the world. Because one fucking day out here, I'm going to collab with the most influential people in the world. And some people might be doubting me, and that's great. I want people to doubt me, so I can prove them wrong when I'm fucking doing it. Alright, uh, you can also have other goals, like, um, I have 20, I have 20 million engaged YouTube subscribers across fucking YouTube. Alright, and that's the next thing that I want to say, guys. Your all-time goals, like I said, are goals that are going to motivate you throughout your entire fucking life. They're goals that are going to motivate you all the time. If PewDiePie can have 50 million plus subscribers on YouTube, why can't I have 20 million engaged subscribers across all of my YouTube channels, okay? If he can fucking do it, I can do it. Who the fuck does he think he is out here? Huh? Who the fuck does he think he is? He thinks just because he has 50 million subscribers that I'm not going to have 50 million subscribers one day? I fucking will. You bet your ass I will. Anyways, your all-time goals should be big because they should be fucking motivating you. When you look at your all-time goals, you want to punch something, like you want to punch this fucking wall and you want to break the entire condo, all right? That's how motivating your all-time goals should be. Now, I wrote, I'm going to have a Salahi Speaks on my main channel, and I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about why people can't set goals, because if you're watching this video, you might not be able to set any fucking goals for yourself. And the reason for that is, is because of what I wrote right here. I wrote, make a Salahi Speaks SS why you can't find your purpose and goals because you don't think high enough. One of the biggest reasons why people don't find their, find their purpose in life, one of the biggest reasons why people don't find their fucking goals, okay, I, I mean, why people can't, you know, come up with their goals, it's because they're just not thinking high enough. Like, you're thinking with limits, all right? Society has put... Society <laughs> doesn't want you to succeed, all right? Since society doesn't want you to succeed, all right, they want you to think small. Listen, fuck thinking small. Look, you don't want to think small anymore. You don't. You want to fucking think big. You want to have my confidence when it comes down to achieving goals. Read this fucking book right fucking now. All right, the 10x rule by Grant Cardone. This shit is fire, baby. Shit, Javier, did I tell you to read that book or not? Yeah. Are you reading that book? I got two chapters left. What do you think about that book so far? It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. And everyone should read the 10x rule by Grant Cardone. And Grant Cardone, hit me up. Let's call that. <laughs> Alright, one day I will call that with Grant Cardone and I'm gonna take him to this video. I'm gonna be like, yo, you have no idea how many fucking TEDx books I fucking sold. Alright, literally all of my friends have this fucking book. And all of my future friends will fucking have this book. If not, I'm not gonna be friends with him out here. I'm not. Alright? I'm glad I read it. So when it comes down to all time goals, again, big goals. And if you can't come up with any all time goals, like I own multiple exotic cars and a fucking jet, like one of my all time goals. Okay, if your goals aren't big enough, they're not going to motivate you enough. Alright? Like, real talk right here, guys. If you can't see yourself being massively successful, alright, then you need to fix your fucking mindset. Just because other people, uh, you know, think that you can't be successful doesn't mean... I mean, just because other people think that you cannot be successful doesn't mean that you don't have to be successful. Alright? You can be successful and you can have big goals and accomplish them. All right, Grant Cardone posted a picture uh, on Instagram the other day. Even though I don't follow him on Instagram, I should follow him on Instagram, right? <laughs> like, I like his content so much that I don't follow him on Instagram. It's just that I don't waste a lot of time on Instagram. I, I think you just admitted that you're, I call it, that you're Instagram stalking him. <laughs> I'm crushing gold, baby! I ain't got time to follow Grant Cardone on Instagram. I'm too busy crushing gold, C -C Cardone, shit! All right, so anyways... Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I completely forgot. You were talking about that you saw a picture from him. That's on... right. So Grant Cardone, he was a fucking drug addict. He was a fucking loser. He, he was? almost got beat to death. Yeah, he was a fucking drug addict. Uh, he almost got beat to death when he was 23. He fucking hated his life. You know, like, at the beginning of his life, he played a post. And he said, if I can fucking be successful, if I can buy a $40 million jet, you can too. You know he bought a $40 million jet uh, recently, right? 40 million? That's right. 40 fucking million! Wait, he's a billionaire or a millionaire? I'm pretty sure he's a multi-millionaire or oh. a billionaire. Who knows? Okay. All right, let's talk about some of your fucking goals, Javier. Yes, sir. All right. I told you I was going to fucking roast this one. <laughs> Shit, dog. Wait, I can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. Be more intelligent. Be more intelligent. All right? That shouldn't be a fucking goal. All right? What should be a goal is 
I am motivated to read more books because the more books you read, the more intelligent you're going to get. You, you understand? Yes, like sir. when it comes down to writing goals, that's another thing that I want to say in this Salvaje present slash Salvaje seminar. Okay, when it comes down to setting goals, guys, you guys have to understand that you have to be very specific when it comes down to the goals that you want to achieve. Okay, because you want to tell your fucking brain specifically it is that you want to accomplish. And some people say when you write down a goal, write how you're going to be able to accomplish that goal. You know, if you guys want, you can do that. That's something that my brain does subconsciously. Like when I write here, I own multiple exotic cars and a jet. All right, I know that I want a Lamborghini. I know that I want a Ferrari. I know that I want a Karma. I know that I want a Pagani. All right, so again, you can choose to write how you're going to accomplish these goals or uh, you can just write down the goal and subconsciously understand what it is that you need to do. Also, another thing when it comes down to fucking writing down your goals is you guys have to realize and you guys have to keep in mind that sometimes you don't know how you're going to accomplish those big goals and that doesn't fucking matter. Just because you don't know how to do something right now doesn't mean you're not going to be able to do it in the future. Let me bring you guys an example, all right? When I was five years old, I didn't know how to beat my meat, all right? But guess what? As I grew older, all right? Javier, point over here. Don't point at my meat, man. <laughs> Shit. As I was older, I learned how to beat my meat, all right? I remember when I was uh, younger, I would look at a porn magazine that my godmother had, and I would see all these badges and all these titties, and I was like, wow, this turns me on so much, all right? And I didn't learn how to actually uh, materialize that turning on thingy, okay, until I was much older. That's an example that I want to say. I mean, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being dead serious right now, Javier. All right? It doesn't fucking matter. Like, one of my all-time goals is to have a net worth of $100 million, okay? Because again, Grant Cardone in the 10x rule taught me that I gotta multiply my goals by times 10, okay? I don't fucking know how I'm gonna get my net worth to 100 million dollars, bro. All I have to know is that I'm going to fucking accomplish that goal. Like Martin Luther King said, you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to see the booty and the first step, all right? <laughs> Let's take a look at another fucking goal, all right? Be financially stable. Bro, being financially stable is like what? Making, don't, don't say how much you earn, but that's like saying, oh yeah, being financially stable. I want to make a thousand dollars a fucking month. You have to, you have to be more specific, Javier. All right, you have to be more specific. Like for example, I like this goal that you have right here. Have 10,000 followers on any social media platform, okay? You're being very specific, but why don't you say, have, you know, multiply 10,000 times 10, all right? Make that one of your all-time goals, and if you want, put, have 100 million followers across social media. All right, that shouldn't be one of your goals, by the way. Your, your goal for social media should be to have 1 billion followers across social media. The Rock has almost 1 billion followers on Instagram. Why can't you have 1 billion across all social medias? He's at 1 billion almost? Yeah, he's at 97 million or some shit like that. You missed the zero. All right. Another <laughs> thing that I see here, um, Javier. So one of the things that I want to talk about your goals, guys, is that your goals should be, you know, obviously... You know, you should concentrate on some of your goals and you shouldn't have any shame when it comes down to some of your goals. Like, for example, one of Javier's goals is to fuck bitches and another goal is to fuck bitches with like 87 fucking exclamation marks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Javier wants to fuck bitches. Whatever. That's one of his fucking goals. All right. He wants to get that out of his system so that one day he can settle down with his wife. So again, guys, don't feel that you should not have goals that are sort of selfish towards you. All right, feel free to have some goals that are sort of like selfish goals, okay? And also feel free to have some goals that, you know, charitable goals. Like for example, I one of my all-time goals is that the members of my organization and, you know, as in like the members of my team, the Sarvaje Cartel, inspire and motivate others, you know, for the better, okay? That's basically a goal where I like want to give out to people, okay? What else, what else do I want to, do I want to tell you, Javier? I think that's good. Are you good on the goal? Give me a fucking question. What questions do you have? Like seriously. Uh, I, I don't know yet. All right. So now that you don't know, two types of goals. Let's summarize this. Two types of goals. I want you to make all-time goals. All right. All-time goals are your goals that are going to make motivate you throughout time. Make like a full fucking page of them. All right. I don't fucking care. I, you just want, you need all-time goals. All right. All-time goals are going to motivate you. So I got to write them every day. How much have we, have we been recording for? 14 minutes. And 14 minutes? Seconds. All right. That's not bad. All right. Uh, all-time goals. All right, and yearly goals. Let's talk about writing down st some of those goals. By the way, you can also have an extra goals, which is monthly goals. All right, these are goals that you want to achieve. Oh yeah, let me actually mention one quick thing. One of my all-time goals is that my, my net worth is over 100 million, okay? 
You guys have to keep in mind that sometimes, let's say that you want to land on fucking Neptune, you fucking land on Mars. And that's way better than landing on the fucking moon. Okay? So you guys have to make big goals. Even if you don't end up achieving that major goal, even if I don't end up having a net worth of 100 million, guess what? I could have a net worth of 50 million or 1 million. Okay? Actually, that's fucking shitty. I don't want, I don't, nah. I'm not gonna have a net worth of 1 million. But, anyways, the point is, guys. You don't want to do what Grant Cardone did early in his life, like he talks about in this fucking book that's amazing, all right? You don't want to set your net worth to one million and then one day have your net worth of one million and be wondering, what if I would have set my goal higher? That's where your goals need to be ten times bigger. I feel like this video promotes the 10x rule like throughout the entire time because I don't, I'm not paid by Grant Cardone, all right? I don't even follow him on Instagram. <laughs> I'm not paid by Grant Cardone. This book has helped me out and it changed my life. All right, look at all those fucking books that I have there. All right, a lot of them have changed my life. This wait, one has wait, changed my get life. Out the way, get out the no, way. no, no, fuck it. Don't zoom in, boy. I gotta end the video. It's, it's getting way too long. All right, <laughs> last but not least, another thing that you're going to do, Javier, you told me, where do I write down my goals? In the fucking morning, as soon as you wake up, you have to know what you live for, you have to know what you're thankful for, you have to know what you're grateful for, and you have to know what you're working towards. All right, I want to share two more things with you guys before I leave you off. I, I actually hope this video uh, helped some of you guys out when it comes down to goal settings, but I wanna share two things. The first thing is, sometimes we believe and we think that we can't accomplish specific goals that we set for ourselves because we aren't the person that we need to be to accomplish those goals. However, we can only be what we give ourselves the power to be. All right, that's one of my favorite quotes of all time. So you guys have to keep in mind just because you aren't the person that you need to be to accomplish those goals today doesn't mean that you cannot be the person that you need to be to accomplish those goals in the future, all right? Your fate is your fate. You decide how your fate goes. You decide who you become as a person. The second thing that I want to share with you guys is this. When I write down my goals, I write them down as if I've already accomplished them, all right? Successful people either agree or disagree with this. I don't fucking give a shit what they say. All right, again, I'm just sharing my perspective with you guys. I'm just sharing my observation. How I get motivated is writing down my goals as if I've already accomplished them. Like for example, I collab with the most influential people in the world, okay? That's how it's worked for me. That's how I learned how to do it in Grant's book, Grant Cardone. And that's probably how I'm going to continue doing it throughout the rest of my life. A lot of people say, don't write down your goals as if you've already accomplished them because it, 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 gives, it, it adds pressure on you or it makes you depressed. Honestly, that, that doesn't happen to me, all right? But again, guys, everything I said in this video is just my perspective and observation and you can do it or, or not. All right, so when you wake up in the morning, I want you to write down your goals. It takes me about 35 to fucking 45 minutes to write down my all-time goals and my yearly goals. Okay, but it is extremely 100% crucial that you fucking write down those goals. You can also write down your goals twice a day. If you really want to accomplish these goals bad enough and you want to tell your mind or remind your mind, listen, I want to accomplish these goals. The reason why I write down my goals twice a day in the morning and before I go to sleep, like I learned in the 10x rule, it's because I want to constantly remind myself of the goals that I want to accomplish, okay? Because constantly reminding myself of the goals that I want to accomplish means that I'm constantly reminding myself of all of the fucking hard work and dedication and persistence and consistency that I need to bring into my work so that those goals can become fucking real, all right? Beautiful. Last, last but not least, when you're done writing your goals, you're going to write down the fucking date and you're going to write a fucking W. I learned that from Andy Frisella. Check out the MFCEO Project podcast on fucking iTunes, bitch. Rated five stars. All right, you're going to put a fucking W. All right, because then as the days pass, you're going to see all of these fucking Ws, all of the fucking wins. And you know what that's going to give you, Javier? It's going to give you confidence. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video might not have the greatest confidence, but when you see all of those fucking wins, when you see all of those fucking Ws, you're going to say, I'm a fucking winner and I fuck your bitch. All right. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop it a like. Again, you know, I wasn't planning on making this video, alright? I'm not like a successful person or whatever. I'm some fucking 21 year old that doesn't know shit about life and I'm just sharing my perspective with people, but I wanted to upload this video anyway because I knew it could uh, probably help some of you guys out. Plus, I was going to tell all of this shit that I said on the video to my boy Javier anyway. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to join us, back cartel, let me know if you guys want more Salvaje seminars in the comment sections. All right, end the video. The video is way too long. We gotta end it. That's all, right. all right, so there's my boy Javier. Javier, how was my fucking seminar? It was beautiful. It was fucking amazing. You know why I'm recording it, it right now?
inspirational. This this moment is historic because one day this guy is gonna be making millions and millions of dollars. He's gonna be fucking touring around the world, and people are gonna look back at this fucking video and see, oh shit, look at look at the moment where Salvaje inspired one of the greatest DJs of all time, uh, Shonen Beats or whatever the fuck you're in your fucking name ends up being. Daydream. Peace out, daydream. See you guys on the next video. And by the way, that's my fucking water bottle. Yeah, bitch. <laughs>